Hi, you're watching the first part of our Industrial IoT mini series of videos. In the first few ones, we introduced the context, set the stage, presented the fictitious customer partner aerospace, explained what they wanted to achieve and how the Microsoft Industrial IoT platform could help them. We looked at the first business outcome, and here's the second one. Partner Aerospace wants to create a digital twin of their assets and facilities to better analyze data and improve product quality. Let's look how they can achieve that with the Microsoft Industrial IoT platform. So the second main business outcome and objective uh, that Parnell uh, Aerospace set to themselves is to enhance product quality um, and um, also work towards sustainability. For that, they need to analyze their process, the product data, and the customer satisfaction to identify defects and perform root cause analysis. Uh, in a typical scenario here, you have customers through the CRM tools that have been reporting some problems with uh, their purchase and with parts that uh, you know they have been acquiring from uh, Parnell uh, Aerospace. And we want to track down what exactly happened. So here we want to improve the quality of the products as well as the customer service. We want to make sure the customers get the right parts, not defective, that it can use. People building such parts of the solution will be IT architects, data analysts, um, data scientists eventually, or developer. And the users of such parts of the solutions will be a quality manager, operations manager, or data analyst. Before jumping into the demo here, I want to touch on one concept which we call the industrial metaverse. You certainly uh, are thinking of the metaverse as the ability to reconcile the digital and real worlds. And you are perfectly right. But beyond the communication scenarios, you have certainly seen uh, a lot, uh, you know, showing the future of virtual presence and meetings with someone appearing as an avatar. You need to understand that what makes the metaverse possible is the ability to build a digital replica of assets, people, processes, and environments called twins and describe their relationships. This replica can then be used to reconcile IT and OT data through a powerful graph and enables to simulate, predict, and replay various scenarios. So the world basically becomes your app canvas. So let's look at a couple of direct application of the industrial metaverse. So we are back on the uh, architecture diagram for the solution for uh, Parnell uh, Aerospace. The services we're going to focus on right now are these ones. Collect the data into Azure IoT, send it to Azure Digital Twins, store the historical data into Data Explorer, leverage the NAPS analytics to extract insight from the data that has been collected. Let's see all of this in action. I'm now putting on the hat of a process engineer who's been tasked with putting together a solution to reconcile data from Parnell Aerospace CRM with production operations data in order to determine the root cause of defective parts reported by customers. Azure Synapse Analytics is an enterprise analytics service that accelerates time to insights across data warehouses and big data systems. Exactly what I need in my situation here. I created a workspace to ingest and analyze data from our ERP to retrieve purchase orders information, as well as our manufacturing execution system to get production schedule data, as well as telemetry data from our manufacturing plants that's been contextualized in Azure Digital Twins and historized in Azure Data Explorer. All these services I'm mentioning are integrating seamlessly into Azure. Now I need to track down the root cause for a product quality issue complaint that a customer filed last week. I need to correlate the purchase order information with the production information to understand where this order was fulfilled, where and when it was manufactured, and then drill down further to find the station on the production line that manufactured the defective parts. Here is the data model I came up with. Once I have the purchase order ID, I can look up the plant production schedule to find where the order was fulfilled, identifying the plant and the manufacturing line. 
With that information, I will be able to run a query in Azure Digital Twins and Azure Data Explorer to extract the exact telemetry data for the machine and the period of time during which the order was produced. In Synapse Analytics, I first created a pipeline to ingest data from SAP, defining a source data set and picking a specific table from SAP. And then I define a sync, a JSON table in a storage account that is accessible in my Synapse workspace. In the next tab, I wrote a SQL query to create a view with the purchase order ID and some more interesting information from the purchase order. In this next script, I'm copying CSV files for the production schedules from all the different plants, and I can find purchase orders fulfilled by production orders. Now I can join these two tables with a simple query and know exactly in which plant, on which production line, the PO was fulfilled. Now that I have this information, I can track down what's happened, leveraging my plant's digital twin and historical telemetry data. In Azure Digital Twins Explorer, I can see how my twin graph looks like and create a query that will allow me to extract the data only for that one CNC machine I'm interested in. I have an historical record of everything that happened in terms of Twins updates in Azure Data Explorer as Azure IoT pushed the data first to Digital Twins, then to Azure Data Explorer. You can now see all these data in Azure Data Explorer. And this one query filters out the data for the specific CNC machine at the specific time it was scheduled to work on my initial PO. And when running this query, I can see that something strange happened on the day the PO was fulfilled. We had a spike in fluid consumption as well as in energy consumption, indicating that there's been some hiccup on the conveyor belt or something. Now that I have created all these queries and scripts to drill down in the data, I can aggregate them into a single one that will simplify future investigations into similar complaints. You can see here the combined query that fetches data from all these different sources and isolates the relevant information and telemetry. Note that I don't have to manage the data. Synapse Analytics in combination with Azure Data Explorer, Digital Twins, and Azure Storage does that for me in a very simple way. Now I can create dashboards that will make this investigation easier, not just for me, but for the production manager who's not familiar with the tools I just used. This is the same dashboard capability you've seen earlier embedded in Azure IoT Central. So now, by just entering the PO number, my production manager can retrieve all the relevant information as well as the historical telemetry data and send out a request for maintenance to fix that defective machine. 